Wow, guys, this is going to be rough today. So um, this is Chef Marty Mangiello. I am going to eat some cottage cheese with ketchup on it and celebrate some of the Nixon favorites here at the Presidential Culinary Museum for another episode of Inside the President's Cabinet. Well, so nice to see you again and really appreciate you stopping in. And don't forget to subscribe. I've been asking a lot of people to subscribe down there. Um, click on subscribe. I need subscribers to help me to grow our channel. And today with the Nixons, um, one of the, the big things our guests love when they stay here is uh, the Nixon ketchup. And who knew that President Nixon loved ketchup so much? Uh, also, President Trump loves ketchup. Um, but we've had uh, the Nixon ketchup being served for 12 years now, and people just rave about it. Oh my gosh! And and even folks uh, more recently this year who said, uh, "No, thank you. I don't. I don't like ketchup at all." So, well, the wife said, oh, "Well, why don't you try it and see if you like it?" So, um, they did try it, and the secret ingredient for our ketchup is all over the southeast here. It's called sumac, and we get this off of a conifer bush, and we dry out the berries and grind them, and that is one of our secret ingredients for the ketchup, the Nixon's ketchup that we make. Little known to many people is President Nixon's love of cottage cheese with ketchup. So uh, I promised I was gonna do this for everybody, and uh, many folks had written to me and said, there's no way that you're gonna eat a cottage cheese with ketchup on TV, but I'm gonna do it for you today. <laughs> so can you imagine being in the Oval Office as one of my friends, um, the many butlers who have told me, yeah, uh, pretty much every day, Marty, he would have an ice cold cottage cheese with ketchup all over the top of it. And if you were one of the suckers who was in the Oval Office trying to get your bridge bill passed or some type of bill in Congress, and you were in there when the cottage cheese was coming in, uh, the president would often ask, have you ever tried one before? You've never had it. You bring them one also. Bring them a, a bowl with cottage cheese also. And uh, many people would say, oh, that's, that's okay, Mr. President. I've already eaten a full lunch. Well, just try it. I just have one spoon. You've never had it before. Bring them one. And <laughs> they would literally say, you people back in my home state, do not know what I actually did for you today to get this bridge bill passed, but I had to eat a whole bowl of cottage cheese. In fact, the president came over and even put the cottage cheese, put the, the more of the, get, get, get enough on there. And, and you would smile for Tricky Dick and do what you were told. All right, that's enough. I got a glass of, a glass of water here. I'm gonna have to have a, a swig of water. And by the way, gang, we have uh, the 2004 24 karat gold china from the Congressional Women's Luncheon here. And we were very lucky to have Mr. Alan Miller from Palm Beach, Florida, donate this beautiful replica of Franklin Pierce china. Uh, this is a bread plate. And one nice thing that I was able to recently get, um, if you can take a look over here, this 1973 inaugural ball gift. So this is at the dinner. Um, this is at your place setting when you come in and you are a huge supporter of President Nixon. And this was a nice little cufflink set that they had specially crafted just for you. So what a cute little gift. And we were able to get one of these from an auction house recently. So these are the kinds of things we're interested in naturally uh, at the dinners. And people always ask, you know, you went to the Oval Office, what did you eat? What did you have? Uh, you were at the dinner. Um, was there a little gift? Did you rip off anything? Did you steal anything? Okay, so um, no need to rip off anything at this inaugural ball and dinner. This was the gift in 1973. 
Well, folks, we are so lucky today to have this beautiful Matryoshka set here from Russia. And this is one of the wonderful gifts that was given. And it does feature different parts of the story. As each one that you get out, you see a little bit more about this love story. And this is the purpose of a Matryoshka set. And I'll turn that one so you guys can see the swans kissing each other. But this was a gift given to the Nixons, and it was from Yekaterina Alexeyevna Forseva, um, who wanted to present this after one of the more famous luncheons at the White House. And Pat Nixon was just so surprised and thought it was so cute and beautiful. Now, this is not the original set. I don't want to pretend with the viewers out there that this is the original, but um, this is a beautiful set from Moscow. And as you can see, it's one of the, the largest sets that's sold worldwide. And we were able to get this from Russia. And uh, First Lady Thelma Catherine Pat Nixon, I don't know that anybody really knows her real name, um, Thelma Catherine Pat Nixon, thought it was wonderful. And let's not forget also that gifts are a big thing with luncheons and dinners, and when you come to visit the house, and also many other fun gifts um, that the president even presented at Camp David after having given a Cadillac to Leonid Brezhnev in 1972. He gave a brand new Lincoln Continental, which Brezhnev told him, you get in now. And they drove I off doing about 70 miles per hour and scared the president and Secret Service to death. Blue Lincoln Continental, donated by the manufacturer. It had black velour upholstery. Well, yeah, uh, uh, you will later on see uh, Leonid Brezhnev send a hydrofoil, a famous Russian hydrofoil, as a return gift to the president. It arrives on a ship. And uh, not to be forgotten, um, but one of the most uh, famous luncheons and gatherings, of course, was in Russia at the President Nixon's famous kitchen cabinet talks that were hosted between Russia and America. And we built an entire brand new home in the United States. States and Russia. And this is where they would meet um, in these photos that you're looking at now in the kitchen. And so this was very, very famous. So here's hoping you do not try the cottage cheese with ketchup at your house. But um, we have had people say that they actually do like it. And until I see you for the next episode, thank you so much again.